Here's ABC's Tim Pulliam. Despite heavy rain, flooding, and powerful winds, Southern California avoiding the brunt of Hillary's harm. Well, the fact that it wasn't the catastrophe that had been anticipated, we are very happy about. With the storm now downgraded and headed north, Los Angeles leaders still warning residents to be careful. During the height of the storm, officials estimate more than 41,000 people were without power. Crews responding to more than 1,800 emergencies and nearly 100 traffic accidents in L.A. County. This video shows a road collapsing as vehicles drive by. Hillary washed away roads and caused dangerous mud flows. In Cathedral City, aerials show mud flows swallowing these vehicles. Neighbors in northern L.A. County forced to evacuate. I told my girlfriend to get the kids, get my daughter and get out. I mean, there was nothing we could do. Um, I've never seen this ever before. The first tropical storm to strike California in more than 25 years, making landfall Sunday evening near Baja California, Mexico. Hillary dumping record rainfall across the region. Palm Springs area, just over three inches of rain, but that made it the wettest August day on record. And the rain's not over. You can still see that moisture streaming in up through parts of Nevada into Utah, still in Arizona as well, and making their way to the Pacific Northwest. In the middle of Hillary's wrath, a surprise 5.1 magnitude earthquake about 80 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles. Chief, I'm really sorry to interrupt you right now. Uh, our, are... our studio is shaking right now, so not only are we dealing with a tropical storm, but it appears we're now dealing with an earthquake. Experts say the storm had nothing to do with the quake. Here in Southern California, there was no significant damage or injuries from the earthquake or the storm. In Los Angeles, the second largest school district in the nation will reopen on Tuesday. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.